Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try one of these, I guess that's the name, Taco Street, that's the brand, Taco Street Tacos. These are beef street tacos. They have seasoned beef, cheese, pinto beans, jalapenos, and red bell peppers. It sounds awesome. And since they're new, I don't know how new they are, but it says they're new. Um, two soft tacos in this little shell, in this little tray, I mean. Um, we bought these at, at Walmart. They were $1.97, so I don't think it's too bad a price at all. Uh, it's kind of hard to see this thing though. Um, calories, this is calories. So there's two, 320 calories for both tacos. It's 153 grams. And the rest is labeled. I'm just going to show you the best I can. There's there's the info for you. So cooking wise, um, I don't see any other uh, directions. I think I'll just flip this over. There we go. Um, yeah, I only see microwave directions. So we're going to heat in the microwave full power for 60 seconds. Microwave will vary, so heating, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't say what to do with the plastic. I'm assuming you just vent them. Um, it doesn't say to vent them or not vent them or whatever. So I'm just going to open the end, microwave for 60 seconds, and um, yeah, we'll go from there. It says let it stand for one minute. So I'm going to open the end to vent and um, get the microwave and I'll be back. Okay, right, so here they are out of the microwave. They sit for a minute, and uh, I've noticed these street tacos, they only have one tortilla. Almost every street taco I've had that's been uh, frozen has had two tortillas, and that's the way I've seen them. Like, if you make them at home, they always have two tortillas. I guess it just makes it thicker. I don't know. So anyway, I'm going to let these cool off for just another minute so I can actually pick them up and eat them, and I'll be back. All right, it's time, had time to cool off. So um, I did move them a little bit just to, so it wouldn't get wet, so it wouldn't... Um, get super uh, moist and wet and slimy so just move them around a little bit when you when you're waiting for them to cool off so here's the bite i'm going to take around the end right here hmm. i love the texture of the ground beef with the cheese um you get that kind of a, a goopy taco feel i know that that may sound gross but that's what it is it's just if you have ever had a, um, a Taco Bell Crunchwrap Supreme, you know what I'm talking about. It has that, um, the meat and the sauce kind of all mixed together and make this like um, really goopy kind of feel to it. I like it. Anyway, I think it's good. I can really taste the jalapenos as well. So it, it, um, it really does have a really good strong jalapeno flavor. I actually even still taste the, the beans. It tastes like a refried bean. Now they may not be refried, but they, they may, they just say pinto beans, but that's, that's what they taste like is a refried bean. So the meat is good. The peppers are good. The cheese is good. Um, yeah, I don't, the, everything about it is pretty good. I also like it too. First of all, the tortilla is good and soft. It's not hard or dried out or anything. So that's a good thing as well. Um, one thing I like about it is they didn't make the hamburger they didn't grind it up so fine where it's like um, like little particles of sand. It's actually um, kind of hunks of hamburger, which I like. I hate that really finely ground hamburger that's almost like sand. Like um, there's some chili out there, some pretty famous recipes of, of chili that um, restaurants that I don't like because it's too finely ground. Um, this one's good. It's good and chunky. Um, I like this. This is good. Um, I think you're definitely getting a little, um, quite a bit of food here for 320, 320 calories. Price is excellent. I mean, less than $2, you can't beat that. So I would get these 100%. I'm not going to give them a five because, you know, they're missing some, like, a lettuce and tomatoes and stuff like that to really buff them up a lot. But I do think they're excellent tacos. Um, I'm going to give them, I'm going to give them a four out of five because I think that's fair. Like I said, if, if they had some lettuce, tomato, you could, like, put them on there yourself. It would even elevate them even better. Um, but it's got a little bit of spice to it. Not so spice that you can't eat it. So if you don't like any spice food at all, you wouldn't get these. But if you don't mind a little spice, they're fine. The jalapenos, jalapenos are usually really spicy for me. These aren't like that. So, um, so yeah, I think I'm going to give them a four out of five. I think that's fair. Hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.